Hello guys and welcome to another video In this video I'm going to show you how to record smooth animations with the cameras in your blender projects Using paths, circles, etc. So first of all, you go to blender Shift A to create a camera Press N to go to transform and set everything to zero Shift A again to create an empty cube now select the camera and the cube and then Ctrl P to set parent so when we move our cube the camera goes with it put the cursor in the object you want to work with in my case here is this sphere and shift A curve create a circle and let's scale it a bit we select our empty cube we go to object constraint properties and we add a constraint and that's follow path in the target here you can select your object in this menu or you can simply use the eyedrop tool here and select the object you want to follow its path now when we play around with the offset we can see our empty cube is following the path we want now we select our camera and also go to object constraint properties but this time we go to track and track 2 also we choose the target in my case here is this sphere now for these settings i usually go for minus z in 2 and y in the up i think that's the correct settings i'm no expert now when we go to the empty cube and play around with the offset we can see that the camera is tracking our object let's animate this we select our empty cube go to offset and hit the button i to insert a keyframe now we go to the 100th frame and set the offset to anything we like for example 100 to make a complete circle and hit i again to insert another keyframe now hit space and let's play it Cool, huh? Wait, that's not it. Now it's good, but it lacks something. It seems unrealistic to me. Let's add movements to the camera. We go to the first frame, hit N, we're gonna modify the location's coordinates. Place the camera anywhere you like. Hit I to insert a keyframe. In the location menu, we go forward to the 100th frame, and let's change the camera's location again. And hit I on the location menu one more time. Now as you can see, the camera is moving individually on its own way without drifting out of the circle's path. Now it's way smoother. You can also do all this with a straight path, or a custom straight path. Wait! How can we customize a straight path, you stupid son of a b It's easy. The path is a one-way path. When we select our path and go to edit mode, we can see the little arrows which indicates our path. We go to the last vertex and we simply press E to extrude it anywhere you like. Extrude, extrude, extrude. Now we have a customized path. Oh, did I also mention that you can make your object follow any path? It's a really useful way to help animate, for example, a moving car, plane, boat, or anything. So that's it for this video, I really hope it helps you guys, and if not, leave a comment below or contact me in my personal email, you can find it in the description. You can also check my previous videos about the animation, and take a good example from it. If this video helped you, support me by liking it and subscribing to my channel, and share the video if possible, maybe you'll be the reason for helping another person to solve his problems. Before you guys leave, excuse my accent, as you can see, I'm not English. And I try my best to make my accent understandable. Plus, I always make subtitles so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Have a good one, guys.